One to go up top, dumps it off across the middle, Fournette. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here, and what we're doing today is a little unorthodox from how you usually do these. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving out preseason awards, ladies and gentlemen. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be going over who's overrated for the Jags, the most underrated, the best player on the team, key new addition, could surprise, takes a leap, and a prove-it year for all of these Jaguar players. Now, they aren't necessarily awards. We're not going to be giving out who we think the offensive or defensive player of the years are going to be. However, if you want a video like that, leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I also want all your guys' opinions on all these awards as well. This has been influenced by full press coverage Jaguars, so if you guys are watching it, thank you for giving me the idea. It's completely theirs. They did it on Twitter, and I uh, wrote a couple of articles for them back in the day. So, you know, it's all love to those guys. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is the preseason Jaguars Awards. Most overrated, and A. So this is a cop-out. It truly is. I can't tell you who on the Jags is overrated because I think everybody with how they are rated, at least in the spectrum of the NFL, you know, from experts, uh, from fans and from fans of other teams, you know, I don't think anybody on this team is necessarily overrated. But if I had to pick somebody who might be a little overrated, it'd probably be Leonard Fournette. I think Leonard Fournette's the easiest answer to give, but... I think he is looked at right now as not a good running back because of his injuries and because of his past. You know, everybody's kind of underrating him because they don't think he can reach his 2017 form. You know, no one really thinks of Leonard Fournette anymore as an elite running back. So you can't really say he's overrated because nobody's really overrating him. You can't say Nick Foles is overrated because he's another guy that no one's really overrating. I think everybody on this Jaguar team is rated exactly how they should be heading into 2019. I honestly cannot think of anybody on this Jaguar team that would be considered overrated. If you do, leave it in the comment section down below, but for this one, I'm going to cop out and say no one is overrated on the Jaguars heading into 2019. Most underrated player, DJ Hayden. DJ Hayden is a nickel corner for the Jaguars playing alongside Jalen Ramsey and AJ Boye. And when he was on the field in 2018, he was a stud. He played really, really good football. Unfortunately, he did get injured in 2019, uh, 2018, I should say, that prevented him from getting a lot of playing time. You know, he didn't play a lot of games. I believe he only played five or six. He was injured, you know, and then he was day to day, and then he just never really played, you know. He was kind of part of the banged up secondary. Everybody was banged up except for Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey was always out there holding the fort down, but DJ was hurt. And I think a lot of people are underlooking DJ Hayden. I don't think they see him as a guy that's going to be making a lot of plays, but when you got AJ and Jalen shutting him down and now you got a healthy DJ Hayden playing the nickel position, I look at DJ Hayden to make a big step forward. He's a former first-round pick. The kid is a baller. There's no doubt about that. He's not a bad defensive back. He has all the potential in the world to ball out and to be a really solid piece to this Jaguar defense and contribute. Bold, bold take. I think a lot of people are going to be testing Jalen and AJ this year. I think DJ Hayden's going to lead the Jaguars in interceptions this year. Trust me, he's going to surprise you this year, and he's definitely the most underrated Jags player heading into 2019. The best player? Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey is pound for pound the best player the Jacksonville Jaguars have on their roster. And it's not necessarily close. You got guys like Calais Campbell, who you can make a case for, and Yannick Ngakwe as well. You can make a case for him. You know, there's some stout guys on this defense that if you think they're the best player on their team, I'm not going to argue with you. I won't argue with anybody that says Calais Campbell's the best player on this team because I think he truly is the best leader on this team. I think people look up to him the most and look at his skill set the most. 
most, you know, he's the most looked up to Jaguar player, but as far as raw ability, strengths, the best at your position, top five in your position, and, you know, just being the best. Jalen Ramsey is the best player the Jacksonville Jaguars have. He's the best corner in the league. He's on his fifth-year option. Xavier Howard just got that big contract, so you know that means Jalen is going to be getting somewhere maybe in the 100 mil mark. Who knows? But Jalen's going to get paid. He's going to be a Jaguar for a long, long time. And thankfully, we have one of the top players in the league at his position because the Jags usually just have a bunch of slap-ass guys everywhere around the field. But we have Jalen Ramsey, the best corner in the NFL, and in my opinion, the best player on the Jacksonville Jaguars and the best player on the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into 2019. Key new addition, Chris Conley. Chris Conley is going to be the third wide receiver for the Jacksonville Jaguars heading into 2019, three or four. I think he's not going to see a lot of play playing time to start his season with the Jags, but once he comes in and comes into his own, I think he's going to be a complete X factor in the Jaguar offense. Him and Nick Foles already have chemistry. They're both really good friends off the field. They know each other. They know each other well. And I think this is going to help Nick Foles, you know, kind of move along in Jacksonville, having a guy that he's very uh, familiar with, like Chris Conley. And I think he's a guy that fits the scheme with the Jaguars wide receivers. You know, he's a lot like D.D. Westbrook, Marquise Lee. He's going to fit the scheme that the Jaguars are going to be trying to run in 2019. And I think he's going to run away with it. And I think out of all the free agents and all the draftees, I think Chris Conley is going to be a key new addition in 2019. You can also make the case for Josh Allen, but I thought Josh Allen and Jaywan Taylor, at least in my opinion, were too easy to say. So like I said, if you are going to say Josh Allen in the comments section, no arguments there. I just wanted to be a little bit different and say why I think Chris Conley is going to be a good key addition in 2019. He's going to help Nick Foles along, and we need the help on the offensive end. So I think his impact is going to be you know, a little bit more noticeable than the guy like Josh Allen because Josh Allen's going to be around dogs, you know, an elite defense. Chris Conley is going to be part of an offense that's going to be pretty mediocre, and I think he's going to be able to be a shining star on that mediocre Jaguar offense in 2019. Could surprise, Jake Ryan. Now, the Jaguars picked up Jake Ryan this year in free agency to probably play the middle linebacker position so Miles Jack can go back to his natural position, either as a Sam linebacker or a Will linebacker. He could play both, and he could play them both well. And Jake Ryan's going to be slotted in as the Mike backer, the middle linebacker to this Jaguar defense. He has a lot of Paul Puzlesny uh, attributes to him that I think he's going to be able to contribute to the team. I don't think in pass coverage, I've watched a little tape, in pass coverage he's not the greatest but, you know, as far as getting after the quarterback, you know, stopping the run and his football smarts, I think they're up there. You know, he tore his ACL last year, so he didn't get a lot of playing time, any playing time with Green Bay last year. But he's a kid that has a lot of potential and has a lot of bright spots. And, you know, Paul Lesney really wasn't much when he played for Buffalo. But when he came to Jacksonville, he was a leader and he balled out. And I see a lot of those same qualities in Jake Ryan. And I think he's going to surprise a lot of you this year when he balls out and maybe maybe even just get over 100 tackles in 2019. Takes a leap, Miles Jack. Miles Jack has played two very solid years in Jacksonville. Uh, ever since he's walked in in 2016, he has performed and played really, really well. This is his fourth year, I should say. He's performed really, really well with Jacksonville, and he's done a lot of things that Jaguar fans are going to remember. Hashtag Miles Jack wasn't down. Let's get that out of the way. We all know what I'm talking about. But Miles Jack is a guy, now that he's going to be going back to his natural position that he played in 2017 where he balled out, I think he could have a Pro Bowl season at Sam Linebacker or Will Linebacker. He's also going to be kind of taking some of Telvin's pressure onto him. You know, he's going to have to be that leader. He's going to have to be the sideline to sideline linebacker that Telvin Smith was. Not that Miles Jack wasn't that same way. He definitely, definitely was. But now that Telvin Smith is gone, he has bigger shoes to fill and he has to do it and he has to do it well or Jaguar fans are going to be critiquing him. All goddamn day, that's a fact. But I think he's going to prove to you why he's going to be taking a leap and why Miles Jack just might be in the Pro Bowl next year. He's going to be taking a big leap in 2019, and keep your eyes out for Mr. Miles Jack. Keep an eye out 
on our linebacking core in 2019. If we had Telvin Smith, it'd be terrific. But now I think some young guys are going to rise as well, like Quincy Williams. This linebacking core, as a whole, as a whole, can surprise you in 2019. I think Miles Jack is going to take a big leap heading into next season. Prove it year, Nick Foles. Now, a lot of people on Twitter did not like that I said this. They're like, oh, we just signed this contract and you're saying it's a prove it year? That's a bad take. Maybe not a prove it year on his contract, but as his career. He has to prove it. You know, if Nick Foles is going to go out there, go 4-12, and 5-11, and 11, do something like that, he's going to be forgotten and all this is going to be for naught because the Jags cannot struggle with a quarterback for another season. They gave him all this money because they have a lot of faith in Nick Foles and if he does not perform, then they're going to move on for him, from him and they're going to try and draft another quarterback and that's going to be very, very hard with the amount of money that they paid him. They're not going to cut him or anything like that and they they probably will stick out with them because you know that's the Jaguars and they are fine with sticking out with bad quarterbacks because maybe Nick Foles will have like one 400 yard game and like four touchdowns and that's going to be the game we look at like it will be against like Washington or something he'll be like whoa but he had 400 yards and four touchdowns against Washington we ought to stick it out with him you know but if he does not produce right off the bat in 2019 he is gonna be a bust like, we paid him all this money, like I said before, to be our quarterback and to be our quarterback to take us over the hump. And if he does not do that, then he's going to be a wasted investment. And he has the most to prove in 2019. I don't care what you say. He has the most to prove in 2019. There's nobody else, I think, on this team that has more to prove in 2019 than Nick Foles. You can say that's a bad take, but I can't think of anybody who has more to prove in 2019 than he does. If you have an idea, leave it in the comments down below because I want to see your guys' opinion. But I think Nick Foles needs to prove why we needed to give him all this money and he needs to do it immediately in 2019. And that was my Jaguars preseason awards. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook, at Troop Talks. You can follow me on Twitter, at Troop Talks. You can follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. That was just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.